Yeah, hello everybody. Just wanted to show you the size differences between uh, three of the common uh, Dobsonians out there that are available. So on the left we have a 10 inch, uh, it's an Orion Dobsonian scope. In the middle is a eight older Orion 8 inch. And on the left is a Orion SkyQuest 6 inch. So you can see the differences in size. And you don't often get to see these side by side, so I wanted to show that because I'm not going to be keeping all three of these. I'm going to keep the 10 inch and the 8 inch and the 6 inch are going to be sold. And this just happens when you're in the hobby seriously spending some money. You're experimenting with uh, different telescopes and trying to see what you really like. And I definitely decided to go up with a 10 inch. Now there are some advantages to the other ones. For example, the 6 inch you can carry around uh, right on the Dobsonian base. You take the handle and you can actually carry it. It's not too heavy, not too hard to, to bring around. That's really nice about it. The 8 and 10 inch you do have to separate, which is no problem at all. You just lift them right off the base. The 8 inch is very easy to carry around in two pieces. Not, not too heavy at all. The 10 inch uh, is a little heavier. It's not that hard to do, but I gotta kind of bear hug the tube to carry it. Um, the base, you know, is pretty easy to carry by the handle by itself. It's a, you know, a little heavy, not too bad though. So that is the advantage of the six inch, but of course, when you go up to a 10 inch, you gather in a lot more light than an eight inch and way more light than a six inch. So where I'm located in kind of a suburb here in southwest Florida. You know, the light pollution isn't too bad. It's, I would say, moderate to low moderate where I'm at right now. And the 10 inch just makes a big difference in what I can see over the six inch. And that's why I decided to go uh, with the 10 inch. Um, I would recommend, you know, if you can possibly afford it, like with Orion, they have the push to uh, computerized systems that you can buy. They're usually a couple hundred dollars more add to the price tag. But if you can afford that, I would recommend it because I think you'll thank yourself. Uh, it is challenging to find objects in a light polluted sky, even moderate light pollution like what I have. And you know, it takes a lot longer to find things. And I think a push to uh, is definitely, if you can afford a couple hundred bucks extra to pay for it, is worth it. Um, especially if you have limited time and you don't, you know, want to be spending, you know, a couple hours just to look at a few different objects. If you're not that patient, uh, push to, I think you'll find is worth the money. If you're patient and you just really enjoy being outside and uh, taking your time and you're not in a, in a big hurry and, you know, looking at a few objects in detail and spending time with them is your thing, then it may not be as big a deal. But for me, I like to look at a lot of different objects. Um, you know, after looking at some for a couple minutes, I'm ready to move on usually. And it will take some time. Of course, you know, with practice you get better, but it takes some time to look uh, without the computerized system. But you know, it's no problem. The 10 inch, I'm happily able to do that because I get pretty good views of a lot of objects out here. All right, so just thought, uh, something to be useful to a lot of people. See you later.